What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be discussing directory traversal attacks. Directory traversal attacks are a very popular web application attack. They're fairly well known. Uh, we are going to talk about what is a directory traversal attack. I'm going to explain uh, the basics, the meat and potatoes, the real core of this attack, and then we'll go into a uh, small demonstration to get even a deeper understanding for this attack. So guys, Without further ado, let's traverse right into the video. All right, guys, so to understand the directory traversal attack, you have to be familiar with a few Linux commands. So some Linux commands, and if you're already familiar with this, uh, I'm just gonna give a very brief uh, description of this, but let's say we want to go back one folder. So right now we are in our home byte documents folder, and we wanna go back into our byte directory. So we can simply run CD, followed by two dots, and then we're in our byte directory. We want to go back into documents, we can simply run cd documents. And if we wanted to go back into our forward slash directory, so literally our home, our not our home, but our base directory, the absolute uh, earliest thing you can go to, uh, we would simply run cd with three um, dot dot iterations. And then we're back. So this is just showing you guys how to navigate uh, backwards to different directories. So here we have the var www um, forward slash HTML directory. So this is the default directory for Apache, Apache 2 web servers. So this directory can be changed if you're an Apache, uh, if you're a web application developer, you don't necessarily have to use this directory, um, but it is the default one. So uh, typically with a web application, the database files, um, the front end files like the HTML files and maybe some back end files like PHP files or depending what you're using for your back end will be stored in this web, direct, web root directory. So we want to, with a directory traversal attack, we want to leave this web root directory using those dot dot iterations. And then we want to navigate to another file on the server and display that file. I'm just going to show you a test example where we're actually displaying a test file. So just hang in here with me. We're just saying, okay, we want to display. Cat is just to display. We're going to go to this directory here. Simply, we can actually, we don't need to use that directory. We can simply just run three iterations of dot, 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 followed by and here we can see our, our file is displayed. We can also run the same command above here, but we can add multiple iterations of dot dot dot, it doesn't actually matter. Um, it's still gonna display that file, even though you only need three in this, in, in this instance. All right, guys, so now you guys know kind of the fundamentals of directory traversal attacks. Let's dive into a demonstration. So right now we have a vulnerable web server. So this is just a DW, DVWA. It's just an application, it runs uh, PHP on the back end and it runs MySQL. Um, and it's just an application that's vulnerable to multiple attacks. Uh, it doesn't have, with the config configuration we're using, it doesn't have any security in place. So I'm, ju I'm just going to use it to show you guys how directory traversal attacks work. So typically with a directory traversal attack, there's very many different ways uh, it can occur. You can have it in a post request or a get request. But a good thing to look out for is we're going to go directly to our directory traversal attack page, which is under the file inclusion. So what you want to look out for is a page parameter. So here we can see our page parameter. And that means that this URL is going to contact uh, the web server and say, hey, can you please bring me back this include.php page? So instead of providing that PHP page, we are going to perform directory traversal. So we actually don't know what the web root is. So it could be www followed by 10 or five or six folders. So to be safe, 
we're going to add a bunch of these iterations. And then since this is an Apache 2 server um, and it's running Linux, we know that the Etsy password file exists. And now we can see uh, the users. This is a very typical file to use to enumerate users on a uh, Linux machine. And we can see there's a MySQL user here. Uh, there's the root user. And we actually just displayed another file outside the web root directory, which is exactly what we wanted to do. All right, so now that you guys have a feel for directory traversal attacks, it is important to uh, understand that sometimes the actual attack is filtered by the web application. So the web application will actually look for those two periods with the forward slashes. Um, it will see that pattern and will say, and it'll block or it'll drop uh, that request and it won't send it to the server, won't send anything back. So what I mean here is the actual server or the web application will recognize this pattern as malicious and it won't, um, it will block the request. So there is a nifty way of avoiding this. We can use URL encoding. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. So right now we're going to capture our traffic um, using a burp suite proxy. And it sounds complex if you haven't heard of it, but it's just essentially um, capturing this browser's request. So this is gonna send a message to the server and before it sends, uh, its request to the server, we're going to capture the request and then we can change the request and send it to the server. So here we're turning on our proxy. And you can see our request is captured here. So a good way of avoiding web application filters for this malicious pattern that we showed in the video is to do URL encoding. So URL encoding is essentially just an encoded version of each character. So here we can see our period is percent two E and our forward slash is percent two F. I could manually input these in here, but for the sake of time, uh, I'm going to use the encoding in uh, Burp Suite. We're going to look for that same file as before. Oh, I apologize. We're going to do this in repeater, not in proxy. And here we can see we receive the same results um, from the Etsy password file. So we're doing the exact same attack, essentially. Here we're just being a little bit safer, a little bit more cautious for those filters and trying to bypass them. All right, guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Uh, just a brief recap, we, dis we discussed uh, how directory traversal attacks work. We discussed the meat and potatoes of the attack, understanding the fundamentals of navigating back uh, directories and then displaying the file you want. In our case, we, did, uh, the, we displayed the Etsy password file. We also explained uh, URL encoding. If there is a web application that filters uh, the double periods and the forward slashes, we can use um, URL encoding to bypass that filter. So if this video was helpful, please do give it a like below and I will see you guys next time.